What's up, YouTube? It's RS Mario here, coming up, coming, bringing you episode three of my Legend of Zelda news, rumors, and speculation videos. All right. So last week uh, there was a little bit of controversy. Okay. So uh, I, for the first two episodes, I have been calling this news and rumors, even though technically last week was more speculation than it was news and rumor. And um, this week's gonna kind of be the same, so I'm gonna go ahead and add speculation to the title. Alright, because there's not a lot of news coming out about Zelda, you know, so there's gonna be a lot of, a lot of these videos are gonna be speculation. But when I do come across news, I will be putting it in these videos. Like today. So before I get into speculation, because this video is technically about the hero of men and you know how he could play a role or he could be the link in the Zelda game. Um, there's a little bit of news. Uh, I was reading on Zelda Informer, uh, well not Zelda Informer, but I was reading on uh, several different sites that the release date for Legend of Zelda will be announced after E3 2015, which is um, it's an interesting bit of news. I don't know if that's true or not, because I think it would be kind of dumb to wait till after E3 when everybody's probably going to be looking for this at E3, seeing as though this game is supposed to come out next year. So E3 is going to be in June. Usually around that time you want the release date to be out so you know that you know, your people are going to pick this game up you know, three or four months after E3. Because uh, this game is probably going to come out around November. So, um, yeah, so I, I don't know if that's a true statement or not. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that one in the rumor pile. I, I did read it from a place called Christian Post. So, I mean, I don't know. That's, I'm going to leave that one in the rumor pile until I see some more credible sites pick it up. Um, but now on to speculation. Alright, so. Just, uh, we're gonna check out the, uh, before we get into it, we're gonna check out the intro to Minish Cap one more time. So just check it out. from the um, the elementary uh, temple but my theory here today is that this link uh, this hero is the hero for the Legend of Zelda Wii U um, that would place this game not in the um, era of chaos timeline but actually would place it in the force era right before um, in, well not right before but years before Minish Cap which would also also be a good place to set this game because nothing really important well uh, some important things happen there but nothing has ever been talked about you know and um, nobody you know they have never really went into who the hero of man was you know they, they only kind of show you here and you know just just looking at this we know the hero of man was Link you know a Link you know before the Minish Cap Link so let's get into this. All right. So, um, so a tiny Picori appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword and a golden light. All right. So now, um, 
we're gonna go into some reasons why you know this is probably Link. One, um, this not the Skyward Sword Link, because a tiny Picori appeared from the sky and brought a man of sword and a light. All right, he didn't bring a man from the sky, a sword from the sky, and a light from the sky. He brought a man who was on the ground. He brought him a sword and a light. All right. So, um, and, uh, you know, what was going on is the, the land was being swallowed by shadow again. Uh, this time it was probably the monsters from, from, you know, from the Sky Era, you know, which is basically the era that happens before and during Skyward Sword. And they were defeated once, and now they're probably, they probably regained their strength over the centuries and are now coming back after people again who have already resettled land after the events of Skyward Sword and are basically rebuilding the Hyrule Empire or Kingdom and um so now they're now coming back after them. so now this isn't Gerahim and Demise you know Demise has been defeated Gerahim is done you know for the time being I still don't believe Gerahim is dead but he's done and um you know, so and they already they already said it's gonna be a brand new enemy. So this could be another demon, you know, that has been, you know, chilling or imprisoned on Earth on um, on Hyrule somewhere or anything, you know. Um another thing is this could be the war of the bound chess. Um now before Diminish Cal, they talked about this this war of the bound chess. And it was, um, it was basically a conflict that went on between the people of high of young Hyrule and basically these monsters, you know, that want to basically take over the ground, they want to take over the world. And um, you know, the hero of man basically re receives the, uh, the the sword and the light from the pictures and uses it to fight back the monsters and basically save Hyrule. And he seals the monsters inside the bound chest. You know, now, you know, that all that happens right before Minish Cap, you know, because of course in Minish Cap, you know, body breaks the seals, Cory Sword, and unleashes all the monsters on the world. Alright. So, now, I'm thinking that this happens, I'm, I'm tough, this, this feels like the Legend of Zelda, this feels like Zelda Wii U to me. Like, I mean, because... You know, the link in that game, you know, like the link in that trailer, he could, this could be right before Link gets all his gear. You know, this could be before he, before the Kikori comes to him and gives him the light and the sword. You know, um, now this could, now this means several things though. Uh, this means that uh, some, several important items to the, to the Legend of Zelda series probably may, may or may not be in this game. Um, one of them being the Master Sword. And, um, I mean, because now the Master Sword, you know, its origins were in Skyward Sword. You know, but of course it was sealed in the Temple of Time, behind the doors of time, and so only the Hero of Time can get it, which means that you know, the only time the next time we see you, the Master Sword will be Ocarina of Time. But, um, so I think the Master Sword is not going to be in this game. I mean, I think the main, your main weapon in this game is going to be the Picori Blade, you know, which you get from the Picori or the Minish, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the other item that won't be in this game is the, the, uh, the Triforce. Now, the Triforce has already been sealed in the Sacred Realm, behind the doors of time, and the, the Master Sword is the key. So, there won't be any Triforce in this game either. And I know a whole bunch of people are like, you know, the Master Sword and the Triforce, they're integral to Zelda. But not every Zelda game has had the Triforce in it. Like, if you really look at it, Minish Cap doesn't have the Triforce in it. You know, uh, let's see, Majora's Mask doesn't have the Triforce in it. You know, and, um, Twilight Princess, the Triforce isn't even mentioned by name. Like, you actually see it in dreams and stuff, 
that you never actually, you know, the Triforce isn't mentioned by name in Twilight Princess. So, not every Zelda game uh, involves the Triforce per se. So, I, I don't think this game is going to have the Triforce or the um, Master Sword in it. Um, you, what you're going to have is you're going to have the, the Pokoi Blade and the Light Force. Which is going to be your your, your Triforce like object of this game? Um, you know, the, the Life Force will later be sealed within Princess Zelda. You know, so Zelda's going to be in the game, of course. You know, I mean, so the, you know, this this could take place. You know, this, the moment in the trailer could take place before Link gets his gear from the Picori. I'm just saying. I mean, it, I mean, there's a lot of things here that they. they you know, could place this game in the Force era. You know, the Force era is another era where Hyrule will be sparsely populated. I mean, because they're actually, you know, because this happens years after people start resettling from Skyloft and, you know, after the events of Skyward Sword and people are just building up a civilization, which is what it looks like in the Zelda trailer. I mean, because you actually see houses and there's people farming, you know, we all know that agriculture and farming is the beginning of every civilization, you know, it's always started with people who stop wandering, and they stop, and they start, you know, domesticating animals and growing crops wherever they are, and that's the beginning of civilization, that could be what's going on here in the fourth era, where they start to actually build the kingdom of Hyrule, when all this stuff happens, and these creatures come and start attacking, um, you know, you, you don't see any major cities or major populated areas because people are still building all that stuff. This could be the start of Hyrule again, you know, and of course you have to defend it as the hero of man. So, um, that's about it for this episode. Um, you know, my next episode will be next Saturday as always. So, um, just uh, like, comment, subscribe, and keep it real. Yeah!